This is a video uh, for the building uh, CSP, Concentrated Solar Power uh, Ning uh, Group. And I would like to explain a little bit about the energy of the sun. When uh, the sun rays arrive at the earth, they're mostly uh, or they're 100% <laughs> parallel to each other for all intents and purposes. And that means that uh, their energy per square meter, if you look uh, at the equator where you are at the right angle uh, of the earth, is uh, equal uh, wherever you are on earth. But in the north, of course, it's because of the inclination of the, of the surface of the earth relative to the rays, uh, they get spread over a larger area. Uh, so, in the north and the south of the earth, where that is the case, are colder. You can uh, find out this inclination if you look uh, simply at, uh, at the latitude of your area. So this is a map, a satellite map from uh, Google, uh, where you see France and it says north 45 degrees. So that's the surface angle relative to the sun, uh, uh, if you would compare it to, uh, to the sun at the equator. Of course it differs a little bit with the summer and the winter, because uh, the earth wobbles a little bit. But uh, in general terms that is, uh, that is a correct number. So if you have a country like France, uh, you can uh, easily calculate uh, the irradiation of the sun in France, uh, which of course also uh, depends on the weather patterns. And uh, people did so at uh, NREL in the US, which is an energy uh, research laboratory. And um, their maps provide direct information on how much energy hits uh, the Earth. So if I'm in the south of France, uh, at uh, Aix-en-Provence, I get 2000 uh, kilowatt hour per square meter per year. So that's 2 megawatt hour uh, per, uh, per year. And the US has similar numbers. They say the worst case scenario is 1100 uh, uh, kilowatt hours per year, which is quite a lot actually, if you think of it. Because uh, so, so from those maps that you can find on NREL, you can uh, calculate for one meter square, if you put it uh, in a right angle to the sun, uh, will catch 1100 kilowatt hour per year. That's for the map in France, but of course you can look it up for your own area. Uh, and that means that if you have a, a concentrating a dish collector, which is a circular uh, uh, thing, uh, the only thing that really counts, of course, is the is the is the is the diameter uh, uh, of of the of the dish. Uh, the diameter uh, determines the surface of the of the aperture, let's say the opening that the dish provides for sunlight to fall in. What happens to it, the sunlight after it falls into the dish is another story. It really doesn't really matter what the shape of the dish is. It just matters how big the aperture is, because that is the area uh, from which the dish will catch sunlight. And you can calculate that area easily. And uh, you'll find that if you have a, a circular uh, dish uh, of, uh, maybe with a radius of one meter, you get uh, 3.4 megawatt hours per year from that. And if you go on, if you take a 2 meter dish, you have 12.6 12 square, 12 square meters area, you get 13 megawatt, 13.8. And uh, so you can calculate for each uh, diameter exactly uh, how much megawatts of energy that strikes that area. Using the map of NREL, simple uh, mathematical formula for a circle area. And, uh, and, and, and you're done. Of course you have the, the average uh, insulation of that area. Anyway, that's a starting point. You know, what you do with the energy after that is another matter of course. Uh, 